back for years now has been a non-stop roller coaster of drama and emotions. But a bit of shocking news has to do with this continual comparison between the OG, Survival Evolved, and the newcomer, Survival Ascended. And I've spoken on this in the past. I played ASE when it first came out, and I gave up shortly thereafter due to the horrific technical state of that game, never to return. But when Survival Ascended launched in late October 2023, I wanted to have first-hand experience with the game, so I purchased it on Steam. Dude, Ark has a lot of expansions and a lot of different things. And the problem with Ark is some of them are good, some of them are absolutely misses that no one wanted and thought that they're just, you know, flat out money grabs, honestly, as much as I understand from the Ark community. It's pretty insane how hit or miss this thing is. So, yeah. And I've worked it into my regular rotation of weekly games. Which brings me to an article from Screen Rant outlining the 10 biggest differences between Survival Ascended and Survival Evolved. And their list is not what this broader discussion is about, but, you know, they list out things like better graphics, in-game mod support, which I know is a big one for many ARC players, a True. more customizable camera, streamlined inventory controls, improved map, which I've noted in the past, building and construction changes, cross-platform play and official servers, more on this in a little bit, crafting changes. Official servers are pr a big deal. Quickly switching between ammo types and their number 10 item, changes to irrigation and generators. And looking over their breakdown, I'd have to say that I don't agree with their entire list here. I mean, it feels like a bit of a stretch on some of these items, and I'd love to see some feedback down in the comments section about what you see are the biggest improvements between Survival Evolved and Survival Ascended. But before I completely descend into a wild tangent, the impetus behind this story, the factor that I still find shocking, is the absolute staying power of Survival Evolved, or the relative mediocrity of Survival Ascended. Pick your poison here. Of course, I think most people have heard about Ark uh, Survival, but Evolved? No, not really. Also, fun fact, Ark has a storyline. You know, all of these things you see right here? Yeah, they kind of almost make sense and whatnot. It's pretty interesting, if, if we're being completely honest. You know, a worthwhile... I don't know, watch, listen, whatever. You're probably not going to figure out the lore on your own. <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, interesting. So, this is a common thing in ARC. Of one, sp one game is praised, the other one is kind of shunned, honestly. And now there's a new ARC or whatever on the horizon. Or it already has happened. I, I have not been paying that much attention. Which is a big deal because it's it's supposedly going to have all the good stuff from the old games, from all of the games. And the bad stuff that people did not like is going to be cut out, which is very nice, very fine, and absolutely 100% acceptable. Of course, excluding exact console player counts, SteamDB shows even now in January 2024, so that's over two months since ASA hit the market, a near one-to-one -one player count between the old and new. In fact, the 24-hour... Oh, this is pretty impressive. Actually, it's impressive how many people keep playing Ark. ...peak is in favor of Ark Survival Evolved over Ascended. And this was Snail and Wildcard's new toy, right? Boasting over 600,000 copies sold in the first two weeks of launch. Not it was bad. suspected and then confirmed by the studio that Survival Ascended was a necessary evil to fund the future development of Arc 2, but with these very close player counts, one has to wonder, did their plan backfire? I Probably not, but no one's really happy about an expansion that's as good or worse than, you know, the predecessor. Hey, if you have an expansion, it should be better, right? Obvious performance issues are still coded into the game, many of which I've experienced in my playtime. You've got things like rough performance, huge PC hardware requirements, server stability. Bruh, the big one would be actually be servers. Because uh, one thing that people probably have heard about Ark if they haven't seen it or really played it or whatever, is probably the drama. About servers groups uh, groups being in touch with admins people getting banned and kicked and dude the arc drama is just wild the dedicated clans fighting each other then one clan gets banned because the other clan has an admin on their side 
uh, private servers, bribes, all of that stuff. Ark is full, full, full of that good stuff. Issues, save game issues, cross-platform shenanigans and exploits. I mean, the list goes on and on. Now, I've communicated with many hardened survival evolved survivors, and while they do mention some of the obvious upgrades from ASE to ASA, the majority of comments also state that all the old issues still persist within the code base. The same glitches and exploits that plagued survival evolved are still all here, but now in Unreal Engine 5, with some better mechanics baked in to survival ascended. Perhaps this is one of the many factors that have swayed the decisions of ARC veterans to not make that jump from old to new. Even the Microsoft Store shows both ASA and ASE positioned fairly close to one another and both within the top 50 most played games list. If you're still tied to ARC Survival Evolved and you haven't yet made that switch, let me know why in the comment section below. Wow. Now on to the little bit of chaos, and this all pertains to current issues and upcoming changes with the game. You see, the Winter Wonderland event has some growing pains as the team at Wildcard attempts to... Event? There's an event? Huh. I had no idea Arik did those. ...deactivate the event without causing players to lose all their hard-earned cosmetic items. Temporary solutions are being deployed, and <laughs> this all seems to be due to the way the event was launched, Yo. which is in direct contrast to the previous Turkey Trials. Official Nitrado servers will be getting a checkbox sometime soon to add the launch parameter, while unofficial servers have completely different workarounds, and single-player servers will need to keep the event active until the end of the month. So... This is not the smoothest <laughs> ending funny. to the event, and players are already sounding off in the official Discord about items and dinos that are being lost. A player priority, server transfers, were mentioned many times prior to the new year, and the latest is that there is no latest. Players were hoping that they would make an appearance this week, although with just one map currently in the game, it would be a mechanic not fully realized. But the latest word is that Wildcard is still shooting for a January implementation, but no dates will be given. Currently, they are testing the transfer system. With updates given... Yo, these developers are using Pepe faces. Yo, that's, that, that's bad, boys. That's based. Okay? You can't have that. Okay, this is bad. Everyone should cancel whatever this is, because bad, bad. I think the ADL called this na Nazi or whatever symbology. Ugh, evil. Ah, it is what it is. Once it is working properly. So this could take a while. And of course, we need to quickly mention one of the largest points of chaos over the past few months for Survival Ascended, the Windows version of the game and how it was released without any anti-cheat and hackers were allowed to run rampant throughout the game until that version what do you mean? I thought everyone hates anti-cheat. I thought anti-cheat is bad. Isn't everyone always complaining about anti-cheat should not exist because cheaters are still dead? Oh no, isn't this the dream? Isn't this the dream that, you know, there's no anti-cheat because it's bad? Oh no! ...version was segregated from the rest of the player base. Now on this front, again, there's no news. There doesn't seem to be a quick solution and no word or updates on when Windows will be added back into the fold for Survival Ascended. To finish off today, we're going to move over to the uncertainty. And we've spoken about the ARC animated series and ARC 2 in the past. Interesting to note that... Arc animated series, what are we talking about here? Have, have not even heard about that. That's crazy. Nail Games, Arc's publisher, does not okay. show the animated series anywhere on their fiscal year 2024 roadmap. Okay, that means the animated series is probably not happening considering we're already in 2024, right? So, and it's fiscal year, keep in mind. So, yeah, that should be there if it's happening. Interesting. Well, these roadmaps can change. The people... Okay, most developers, honestly, are just making ro roadmaps just so people get off their backs at this point. Roadmaps don't honestly mean a lot. They can change at any point, okay? Now, if a good game that has actually stick to their roadmap does a roadmap, that's kind of reliable, but, but, but... 
if if a game just you know releases a roadmap, expect it to be shitty. Because a roadmap is just the easiest way to keep people hyped about something that's happening and, you know, stuff of that nature. It's just essentially a giant hype generator. It's like, oh, you're getting bored, but don't be. Look at what's coming up the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. I feel used and, you know, whatever when someone gives me a roadmap and says, look at how good it's going to be. But Arc 2. Fallout 76 had a roadmap. Hey, how did that work out? He does show up as quarter four, which is still highly doubtful, considering the history of Snail and Wildcard and other possible outside factors involving executive level staff for both ventures, leaving the entire future of the franchise mostly riding on the success or failure of Survival Ascended, which will be very interesting to see once Snail Games releases their quarter four financial report I'm guessing sometime in February. Hmm. But the mystery in this story is the question of what's going on over at Snail Games, which we are again mostly blind to until they release that investor statement. Now yesterday, Snail Games stopped- Any investor statement is going to be full of flies and all of that good stuff to, you know, gaslight people essentially. They're, 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 you can't trust, well you can't trust those things, they're not going to- they're not gonna be lying per se in them, but you know, the investor calls the, inv uh, the you know, the summaries, the yearly statements, the everythings, they're all just made to look as good as possible, obviously. So, you know, be a little bit very when that, that thing drops, because you can't, again, you can't really, really trust them now, can you? Hey, it is what it is, it is what it is. Anyway, onward. Stock plummeted to below one dollar a share and at one point it dropped down to 94 cents before wow. pushing back to just over a dollar this is significant for several reasons first of all i didn't even know they had stock huh okay which is that their stock was sitting at just over two dollars and 30 cents a share back in july of last year so let's call it five to six months ago which is a massive swing and second off at 90 oh what well, well, what was the okay 23 weekly high. okay okay so that okay so that's uh what 12 percent drop well, i think he's talking about that because the 52 weekly high is uh at the year 23 so this is this is not this year even okay four cents that's the record 52 week low for their stock. And it was set yesterday. Now something's not adding up between all of these robust claims coming out of Snail Games about Arc Mobile, DLC on the horizon, Arc 2. Yeah, I'm sure Arc Mobile has everyone so excited. I mean, yeah, Japan's excited. Maybe it's gonna be a big deal like PUBG is, who honestly knows, right? But uh, no one in the West is even remotely excited about that. Bruh, the, the West is probably most uh, more excited about uh, Overwatch getting loot boxes back because that was a better system that they what they have currently going for them, okay? But, wow. Yeah, I don't think anyone's excited about mobile. Mobile is just... Cheap development, well, I can't even say cheap development, but big returns on money. 600,000 plus copies sold of Survival. Also, why the hell is Vin Diesel here? Hello? Bruh, is that not Vin Diesel? I I'm sorry, is he not gonna say family? He's with his family, so it just makes sense. And plus cop. He's gonna say. <laughs> And Vin Diesel's gonna say, for fam family, yeah. And then he's gonna slam the brakes or whatever. Dude, are we gonna have an arc where we drive around in cars on space stations? Oh my god, the dream. Be sold of Survival Ascended, and what is showing up? Yep, that's definitely Vin Diesel. Is this intentional, or what's going on here? In their ledger. Also, you can't fuck with Vin Diesel when it's family time. Book, i.e. the zeros and ones. No, that's definitely and him. that translates into confidence investors are showing in the potential for snail games get in the car and just just gas it all eyes will be on that financial report and again i expect it to show up next month 
February, and how much Snail has been able to claw back. Okay, okay. Let me explain to you something about uh, combat, okay? So, look what happens here, okay? Worry. He does the thing. And he catches the spear because, you know, spears arguably not that great in uh, short range, right? And then, then, <clears throat> look at this. That That is his weapon. Well, that, that's not his I'm weapon. But that's his weapon. You see that? And he does not hit the guy with the pointy, you know, uh, morning star looking thing. No, 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 no. Well, mace with spikes, I don't know, flail? Well, it's not really a flail because a flail is when it's on, uh, on a chain. I don't even know what this is supposed to be called. Spiked club? Spike club. Okay, when you have your opponent's uh, weapon here, they can't really hurt you. And you have a spiky thing in your other hand. You know what's really smart? Not hitting with the spiky thing the weapon so he loses the grip on it. But actually, like, you know, hitting the f head... The face, the body, literally anywhere there's meat attached. But this absolute giga brain chooses to hit the weapon. <sighs> Snail has been able to yeah. claw back, especially. I mean, it is what it is. After they ended 2023 significantly in debt. As always, leave me whatever feedback you'd like concerning Ark, and I'll do my best to respond. Remember. Yep, that was that was our boy, L Lieutenant Buzz Lightyear. Uh, bravo, bravo, good sir. In any case, yeah, Ark is. I mean, Ark still doing Ark things, and it's wild. It is what it is. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done anything. Have a nice day. Bye bye.